Hey guys, Thunderset here, and today we're going to be showing you some decks I'm going to be using in the KC Cup for a while, some of what I think are the best decks. We're starting with Car Curry because that's going to be the deck I'm starting with in this second stage. Very strong deck, even after being hit what I believe is unnecessarily with the ban list, still one of the stronger decks. Just what it does is so smooth, guys. It pumps out monsters like crazy. You can pump out a full board of monsters one turn, get your field completely wiped, pop out another full field of monsters your second turn. That's really big in Duel Links. Not much can do that besides like heroes and things like that. But once you're able to, it's huge. So that's all this deck really does, just pump out power. But if things are going really well for you, you're even negating effects, you're hitting back row, and then you're ser this is all searchable, so you can get on demand what you want. Gold Dust gives you fat damage, you gain the attack of a card curry, easy OTKs. Oil, lots of people like to use it to just get to uh, Burrito, but that seems like kind of a waste to me. You can pull a Burrito right out from the graveyard after you lose one. So I don't really mind using my Kunam Zombs. And then saving this to bring back one of our boss monsters instead of just to summon a boss monster. Really don't like the way it's used there. But uh, great one as searchable with these two. Obviously Merchant can search them. A lot of people think Merchant are going to get banned, is going to get banned. That would be the way more devastating ban than Ninishi, because Ninishi doesn't really hurt us too much. It's all about Merchant, guys. Merchant is the one card combo with Kunam Zan. Merchant is the way we're searching all this great stuff, so it's really all about Merchant. So if Konami does decide to come at him, Merchant would be the way to really, really kill the deck. We'll have to see how well it does in this KC Cup. So some things I do a little different than most card curry players. I'm using my monster cards. I feel that's a way more consistent way to start your uh, combos than just restart. Restart really messes with your deck. Seven traps. I wouldn't even want to imagine how to squeeze seven traps into this deck. That's just a bunch of back row. So uh, we go we go this way. I really like my monster cards. Obviously you're getting merchant more than anything. Looks like we have a ton of monsters. But obviously Kunam Zom is not included in that my monster cards count. So think of him as just another spell card as far as your opening hands consistency is concerned. Very, very strong tech. Another thing I do that a lot of people don't do, I really lean on Samurai Destroyer much more in this deck. It has amazing synergy with this deck. It's Earth Machine, Special Summons, other machine types from your graveyard. Really sticky, really powerful monster to put in this deck. This Swordsman Musashi is just another way to get to your burrito while also keeping your hand fat with follow-up merchants. So like I said, you can just swarm the field turn after turn with all those merchants. Come right back. Super annoying deck to fight. Negating your monsters, swarming the field. That's what Card Curry are all about now, guys. And it plays one of the strongest decks in Duel Links. Definitely something you're going to catch me running around. So uh, I hope you guys are having success in these beginnings of the KC Cup. Let me know what decks you're using and look for more competitive decks that I wouldn't mind using in the KC Cup or beyond before they release a new ban list. So I hope you guys enjoy and thanks for watching. All right, here we are facing a Luna. Go in second. Card Curries can go second or first. We have Cosmic Cyclones. We have Curry Cash Cash In. So all sorts of uh, great stuff. Or I guess it's just cash in. So we're fighting Sheer Nui. That's probably the best deck in Duel Links right now. I think they're a little better than Christron's. But uh, Level Og, Shog or sorry, was that Level Dupe? No, it was Level Og. Level Og into a Shogun Saga. Kind of a weird play. Gets his plus ones with his Banish of a Squire though. Sets up his graveyard with Solitaire. Very solid play. We're going to Banish one Floodgate. Bring out our Merchant. We have two cash-ins, guys. That is just GG. Now we use Kunam Zan. That's how we're able to search the cash-in. We already had the Kunam Zan in our hand, so we didn't really need our search for anything else. That brings out Beret. Beret brings out uh, Nisamu, just as a body for another fusion. That's the second Beret. Brings out the Hypa 2100 attack. We switch that boy to defense. Back row doesn't seem like anything too crazy. So we hit him for a nice, casual, lethal. Great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are facing a Zane Truesdale going second. 
my monster cards. He's using 22 cards. He is, in fact, Cyber Dragons. But this deck is going to show you the much better use for Gamma Oil outside of just special summoning a Nimishi. And the straight power of Samurai Destroyer in this deck, guys. Samurai Destroyer is just so good. Here we bring out, he brings out an Overflow. Sets so only that Overflow, so we really know what we're doing. Now, he had a different out to this duel. He could have survived this duel a little longer than he was going to. I don't know if he would have won it outright, but he could have survived a little longer. So you'll see here, we're going Ninishi, Punam Zam with the Merchant. That's a beret. You've seen this all before. We're going to bring out, I think, another. Or no, we're going level four. Two berets should do. We don't need our burrito plus one. We're bringing out the Samurai Destroyer, guys. Now, how could this guy have survived this turn a little better? Save your overflow to the battle phase. Battle phase, battle phase, battle phase, guys. No point in doing it in my main phase. Just gives me an opportunity to do even bigger plays. When you destroy Samurai Destroyer by a card effect, guess what? Special summon a machine right from the graveyard. Special summons himself right back. Now we got Gamma Oil. Bring out your beret. Why use it to create a beret when you could use it to save a beret and swing for lethal? Even had... Uh, gold dust, but gold dust isn't exactly live because you need two car curry monsters, but still really piled it on great great stuff guys All right, here we are facing a seto Going second He's using uh, some I think those are expensive sleeve and mats stuff you have to actually buy with money He's using balance You got two Nishina and Kunams on a little complicated here. He's using dark magical circles So it's just balanced dark magician Super easy to work around. We're gonna Cosmic Cyclone, what's gotta be a navigation. It is in fact a navigation. Very good, he only set one card. We're able to avoid his Dark Magical Circle. We're able to get rid of his nav navigation as a negate. Very strong turn. Now he's free for us to manipulate. We're going to Ninishi into our Hypa. That's gonna be a Beret. Beret can special summon a Merchant. Now we don't get a Merchant Search, has to be on Normal Summon. But we can use our Kunam Zong. Bring him right back out. That's another Beret. Beret can special summon another monster. We already lost our Hypo, so we don't have too big of an attack. We have to go with our Kunam Zon, which is a very risky move. But, he has one card, guys. Dark Magician is a three-card combo last time I checked, so he's going to have a very hard time to get over us. He just got to just be perfect. So I'm not really too scared. Top deck's another Dark Magical Circle. Search is a Dark Magician, so he could have very well finished his combo had he been sitting on a second navigation. But I feel like if he was sitting on a second navigation, he would have set that navigation and we would have been in trouble. Here we top deck a Cash Cache. Doesn't really matter, just gets us a Merchant as possible. We'll follow up, but we didn't need it whatsoever. Finish him off, great stuff, guys. All right, here we are facing an Aster Phoenix. We're going second. Purple map for our boy, showing in my monster cards. They have 21 cards. We got our oil. Here we're facing a Heroes. I really need to do a Hero Revisit. They just unlocked Stratos. Heroes can run Invoked. All sorts of stuff I need to do with them. And we will get to that. So uh, we normal summon a Ninishi. Special or normal summon a Merchant. Now we cache. That's just good housekeeping. Get another Merchant for a follow up. Didn't really need it for this turn. Anyway, we're gonna Kunam Zam. That's a Beret. Our boy only has one back row. Ray special summons uh, Kun or, uh, another Kunam Zam. That's our way into Burrito without Gamma Oil. So now Burrito brings out Kewik. Kewik's flip to attack. That way we get a plus one of another merchant. Set our cash in. Finish off the monster. Boy has to scoop. Great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are. Facing a calling Kessler, I do believe he is Infernity. I think I saved this replay just to show the differences in the deaths. Infernities are like burnout in one turn after surviving till that one turn, while Car Curry are just massive, 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 massive. So here, he, it's pretty funny. You use this card, uh, drag down into the grave. You see, use it with Dark Lords or uh, no, Dark. I can't. Dark World. No, what? What is the name of that archetype? I can't think of the name of that archetype. It's Dark World. It's not Dark Lords. I use Dark World. It's super annoying. But anyway, I used to use in that kind of deck. You get to look at their hand and choose to discard one. We had two merchants and two cosmic cyclones though. 
So what kind of choice is that? He chooses to get rid of one of the Cosmic Cyclones because he sets a bunch of back row. Now we're going to Cosmic Cyclone, his middle. We hit a Canadian. Now we normal summon our Merchant. We're going to special summon Kunam Zan, but he hits us with an Infernity Break. Has to banish his Archfiend, uh, Infernity Archfiend though, so that's... You really need that card. Has to top deck. Just couldn't do anything. After that first turn, we're gonna swarm right back. So even with instances of disruption, in two instances of disruption on the field, got rid of them both. He had to follow up. Couldn't follow up with one card in his hand. It's a weakness and difference between Infernian and Card Curry. They're virtually opposite decks. So, uh, really just want to drive that home. Card Curry, come back like crazy. Swarm in the field. They're never stopped. Infernity, this one turn better work, or you're not gonna really be able to do much. And you better survive that first turn. So much, much different. That's why you're seeing one have a lot of success. One, I'm sure it's having plenty of success getting the cog and stuff, but it's not quite as good as Car Curries are. So run them in the KC Cup, guys. One of the best deck in Duel Links. I hope you guys enjoyed, and thanks for watching.